This year's winner of the Dave Dixon Louisiana Sports Leadership Award has been involved with sports in this state for over 35 years. He is Shreveport native Jay Cicero, who has served the last quarter century as president and CEO of the Greater New Orleans Sports Foundation. The Dixon Award is presented annually to an individual who has played a decisive role as a sports leader or administrator, benefiting Louisiana and or bringing credit to Louisiana on the national and international level. Thanks to Cicero leading local organizing efforts, the Crescent City has brought dozens of the top national sporting events to New Orleans. Jay and the Sports Foundation have done a tremendous job of keeping the, the legacy of New Orleans being a a great home for some of the greatest events in the, in the country and truly in the world. Um, it's, uh, it takes a lot of hard work and uh, it certainly t takes a lot of teamwork. It takes a lot of folks really, uh, as we say, punching above their weight class uh, to pull off some of these events. Um, but, but in doing so, we truly have had some remarkable uh, memories, some remarkable economic impact for our community. Um, some remarkable community services for our community. So um, when you look at what we've been able to do as a community and Jay and his group behind it, it truly has been tremendous. His father, Frank Champ Cicero, was a longtime state championship winning high school coach for more than four decades in Shreveport. So it's no surprise that two of Jay's first jobs were in baseball with the Shreveport captains and as the first GM of the New Orleans Zephyrs. Soon the Sports Foundation came calling, and with that, the work in bringing Super Bowls, NBA All-Star Games, men's and women's Final Fours, the National Championship Football Games, the New Orleans Bowl, and so much more. I'll tell you, one of the greatest attributes about Jay is really a mantra that we live here at the Saints, and it's, it's amazing what we can accomplish when no one cares who gets the credit, and that, that is Jay. He's never out front uh, looking to take credit. He's always in the back. Uh, just trying to make sure that the event is successful, his organization is successful, and, and perhaps more importantly, that his, his folks and his team is successful, and that's a testament to who he is. It's obvious that we have done this before, and I say we, uh, the Sports Foundation, because the level of calm was almost disarming. Uh, the level of, I know we're going to get this done, was almost disarming. Not just to me going through this the first time, but you know, talking to the folks at the NCAA, you know, they're in a panic uh, every second of the day, but no one in the Sports Foundation ever was. And, and uh, you know, it goes back to relationships. You know, New Orleans is, is probably the, the most important city in the country for having good relationships and, and having relationships that make everything work. Jay is a master at relationships. Ironically, tonight's induction occurs 30 years after the Sports Foundation made its first big national splash as the organizing entity for the 1992 U.S. Olympic track and field trials. There is a Super Bowl in the near future, but we've got his attention here tonight, and we thank him in this, the sportsman's paradise. The Dave Dixon, Louisiana Sports Leadership Award winner and Louisiana Sports Hall of Famer, Jay Cicero.